flowers? Hey, we well, we still have the tracking flowers. Yay. Okay. And we don't need to give her the mop. What else we got? Oh, we lost the newspaper. Maybe she'll want the cakes? I brought you these algae cakes. Wait there! Yoink. Not bad! You got anything else for me? Okay. I brought something for you. What is it? Let me see. I brought you this. I ain't interested in flowers. What do you hear? And I especially ain't interested in talking flowers. Put them away. We must have brought something Edna wants. Don't look at me. I didn't bring anything by myself. Is that a hint? I hope it's a hint. The cakes look like they were stuck through her little makeshift megaphone. I brought you... him. Him? Who oh, him? Him who? Sure, you remember him. Carl Sagan. Uh, the guy you framed as a speakeasy arsonist. Speakeasy? A arson? That's... Complete gibberish, Sonny. Whatever you're talking about's got nothing to do with me. I never involve myself in such criminal shenanigans. Still, his features remind me of someone. Look hard. Don't tell me you don't recognize your own boyfriend. My boyfriend? Yeah, he's, um... The look on his face. <laughs> Come closer, fella. Marty. What am I supposed to do? Trust me, Doc. Just go with it. <laughs> it can't be! <sighs> Emmett! Yes, Edna. It's me. It is! It's October 13th, 1931! Oh, and you are Emmett! <gasps> Emmett! Oh. How did I get so turned around? Have I been dreaming, or... Well, stay there! It's a classic case of repressed memory syndrome. Once the mental dam is broken, the subject is immediately plunged into the midst of the very scenes she's trying to forget. That sounds dangerous. I knew you would. An intelligent boy like you wouldn't be one to throw away true love all because of a silly quarrel. I've already forgotten about last night's little tiff. I trust you've done the same? Of course I have. Of course I have. What? Uh, uh, uh. I'm gonna say those algae cakes are part super glue at this point. Um, schnookums. We'll go with schnookums. Schnookums. Uh, uh, schnookums. <laughs> you're sweet. But you're still keeping company with this Smirnoff character. I insist you drop him. He's a bad influence. And you've got to stop working on that dangerous electrokinetic... What's this? Um, okay. I suppose now you're miffed with me for forcing Detective Parker to close your booth down. Bitter medicine for you, I know, but I had to do it. And Parker had no choice but to obey my orders. He knows that my opinion carries a lot of weight in Hill Valley, and he'd never... Parker would never... Oh... What is it? I don't know. And she's Somebody still holding on to that box for dear Parker. life. 
something that happened to me on October 13th. What could it be? Can you jog her memory? If we can keep her mind in the past, we may get the full story of Hill Valley's premature destruction. Oh, look at this tripwire now that'll let me. That's that. Who's there? Please, Mark, don't interrupt the trance. Here's something that'll make you remember. Remember what? I don't like to remember. Who are you? I mean, yeah, I know we're supposed to yarn, show her the hooligan? flower pot no, at this no, point. No yarn. What? This is Emmett speaking. It's October 13th, 1931. Yes. And something's about to happen. Oh, yes, yeah, something big. But what? Better not talk to her directly. It'll break the spell. So we'll go ahead and use the flower pot and jog her memory. You know, I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. Why? Because no one else was doing anything about them. No! Turn it off, you imbecile! If Parker hears that, he'll... Officer, I can explain. See you later, Techie. Trick. I was framed. Oh, he's after me. Ha! He'll never catch me in this souped-up car of the future. Curses! I can't shake him. Well, no use in holding back now. Let's see what this baby can do. And here it comes. Yes? Here what comes? I, uh, I, I don't know. Something really unexpected is supposed to happen right about now, but I'm not sure what. Oh, come to think of it, how can I be expecting something unexpected? At, oh, what's going on? Quick, Marty. We've got to find a way to push the story along before she snaps out of her reverie. Okay. We need noise, don't we? Here they come! The lights! I'm being transported! Where? Back! Back! To the past! What do you see? Hill Valley! But it's all different! It's so small and primitive! Heavens! Can it be? It is! Is what? Grandfather! Big as life! Marshal James Strickland came to Hill Valley in 1869, shot by... I know, Doc. We met him in 1885. Remember? No! I must be mistaken. Grandfather didn't look like that. That man is an imposter! I'm not even sure it is a man! This is all very confusing. Where am I? Why am I thinking about the past? Get off my lawn, you kids! I know it's you, damn kids. That's Marshal Strickland. Quick, we've got to bring this story to a climax. Do we have anything that's Marshal Strickland? There's a saloon. Okay. Maybe this will take you back. Back where? I don't want to go back. Stay in the moment, Edna. Please. Yeah, Mark. the white mob Don't is next. The trance. I brought you this. Already got one. Okay. And it work on the cactus itself. It looks a bit like Grandfather now, but he would never have walked around bareheaded. Okay, what else do I have? Not sure what that'll do. No, huh? Edna's hat. There's Edna's hat. This hat doesn't frame her face very well. Another bug. It was on the ground just a second ago.
Not bad. Oh, Grandfather, how well you look. How well everything looks. How does everything look? Tell me. It's a bit rustic, to be sure. But all the buildings are so sturdy and well-kept. And the young people of Hill Valley, they're so virtuous and upright. So unlike the degenerate specimens from the 20th century. And I know the reason why. Why? They haven't yet fallen prey to the vices of booze and debauchery. They are still in a state of innocence. I think I could learn to like living here. <gasps> but who's this? Who? This big lout swaggering up the street. Lips curled in an insolent sneer. He's a newcomer to Hill Valley. Uh, Beauregard. Beauregard... Tannen? Tannen. Yes! Good guess. Look at him. Acting <laughs> like a big shot. Throwing his money around. Stolen money, no doubt. Why can't they see through him? The two-bit phony! And now his plan becomes clear. He's bought a plot of land in town. He's going to put up a... Uh, uh, a... A what? I don't know. It's something I don't like. Something evil. This is evil. the key to our mystery. We've got to get her memory back in the groove. Yeah, walk over there. And this part becomes pretty clear. There we go. Talk about a watering hole. A saloon? In Hill Valley? Oh, he can't do that! Grandpa, you can't let him do it! You can't let that snake ruin paradise! Well, if they're all too blind to stop him, I'll just have to take the law into my own hands. I'll make sure this sinful establishment never opens its doors. I'll... I don't know what I'll do, but I'll do something. Something very... conclusive. Okay... Do we have anything... No, nothing in... Maybe the tickets? Not sure what that'll do. Okay. No. I wonder what's cooking. Burning stick. No, you're doing it all wrong. It'll never burn like that. First, we'll need some kerosene. And some Apply algae cakes. liberally to the building site. No sense in being parsimonious. And now, watch. This is beautiful. The devil's handiwork consumed by the fires of righteousness. <laughs> Burn, you sucker! She was never this passionate when we were dating. <laughs> oh. What is it then? Is it the fire? Turn away! Don't look! It's not staying in the saloon, is it? It's spreading to the other buildings in Hill Valley. My intentions were pure. It wasn't supposed to happen like Stop this. Stop backing up towards the fire. Like and you've been repressing it all these years because you can't stand to admit that you're... A hooligan. I'm a hooligan. <laughs> Do I lay it on too thick? Here's the story. Black and white and red all over. Huh. Hill Valley destroyed my fire. Started approximately 2 a.m. July 17th, 1876. Of course... I'm not the real criminal in this story, am I, Mr. Sagan? You set me up for a fall, you and Shmirnoff. You made me steal your infernal car. You made me burn down Hill Valley. And now, by the powers invested in me by the town of Hill Valley, I hereby sentence you two criminals to... Hey. You! How much have you heard? 
Enough for a month's worth of headlines in a Hayesville Herald. Two months worth if you shoot those fellas. I could shoot you too, you know. But you won't, because that would be against the law. And you never break the law, right? This is your cue to skedaddle. Right. Much obliged. <laughs>